Yeah. But uh, one so, question I wanted to ask you because many people have said me before and I have never covered that because I don't have experience. This thing is like I don't want to make something like a viral video which is getting like <laughs> without yeah. any information of what it actually means. So many people have asked like if they want to come from India. I mean you have experience in UK that is super fine but some people suppose they study or do jobs in India and they want to come to Netherlands like doing this normal process and applying via the portals to the companies what mm -hmm. is your idea like how did you apply for these companies in the portals and just briefly just like uh, i i did not go that deep into applying in portals what mm -hmm. i have i have been doing is i have been uh, checking uh, on linkedin yeah mm -hmm. on linkedin i have been you know trying to see the linkedin job site and then you know uh, sort out what my interests are my, because mine is sustainability i'm like mm -hmm. trying to filter out from sustainability perspective and then you know if there are no job openings as well i have like i connect with them and then ask if the recruiters ask or someone like yeah yeah recruiters okay. as well as you know consultants uh, and you know ask okay i'm coming right now to netherlands do you think there is an opportunity or you know that is the approach i am taking and mm -hmm. uh, and and i have i am yet to go that deeper and also by doing this i've got two uh, two opportunities offers, right offers, now okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, i wouldn't say offers but yeah opportunities offers right now okay. and uh, and uh, <laughs> so that is just through you know going through their website and sending an email and sending my yeah. cv on asking requesting that's all i've done till now i've just started one week ago so that's a good progress i feel but uh, i am yet to you know start uh, the proper way of looking for jobs and you know be more consistent and focused mm -hmm. so and have got my brother's wedding coming this week so i'm like kind of busy in that otherwise yeah uh, a week after a week from there i'm like uh, you know going uh, on a on a full swing on that so and also i'm learning the language as well so i think mm. what i've observed is some people do uh, look for you know with little bit little bit of dutch knowledge mm. so a basic dutch knowledge uh, for me yeah, at least in my field yeah yeah sorry did you see my working in netherlands video because there i mentioned in that uh, uh, I mean, especially in my background, I mean, in the PhD where I'm working because we have international colleagues, so it doesn't matter yeah. that much. But if you are in that environment where you have a lot of Dutch colleagues, yeah. then it's always better to at least know a few words or maybe understand what they're speaking and exactly. so that you can converse. Like, it's not yeah. that, like, I think I've also written that in Quora also, like, because some people misunderstood, like, this is like 98% people speak English, so you just uh, don't learn yeah. the language and stay here for 10 years. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that yeah. it is more friendly for you to come as an initial peep. I mean, stranger, you won't feel like a stranger or isolated because you have come somewhere where no one understands anything or something mm -hmm. like that. But then for social integration, obviously, you'll yeah. need to like... Even if you I want like, to. I'm from I'm from the south of India and like for me uh, going from one state to another is like a totally different experience. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. and I I, am, I always believe that you know if you're going to another state or any place you need mm -hmm. to you know learn that language and you know because it, it's going to help you in the end it's, it's a different language you are going to talk to people and you know when you know the language you're becoming more personal that's what I feel and uh, and uh, and that's a very good way to connect and you know get to know each other. So I, I'm, I'm also, you know, giving one hour or half an hour at least of each day towards learning that learning Dutch, and I feel. So are you going uh, to some agency or you are learning from yeah, that? Uh, through through normal Google and YouTube, and that's what I'm doing. Because in my city, we don't have a Dutch coaching center. Mm. So yeah, I think I, I don't know about all the cities in India, but I think German is more popular, yeah. but Dutch is not that much no, because, no, yeah. because of the requirement. So, like German, they need to know somehow before they land in Germany. So that's why they're yeah. like... Yeah, so German and French, you, you do have a lot of places giving, but Dutch, very mm -hmm. few in Bangalore. I'm seeing, I think, one or two places. But right now, I'm le learning the basics and then... Maybe uh, you then, can also no. try the Duolingo. I don't know if you've already yeah, tried Duolingo, before. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, Duolingo try. Is also good. Just for practice, like. Yeah. So that's what is my approach, and uh, and that's what. Yeah. In terms of jobs, uh, I am yet to start applying in portals. Uh, right now, it's just LinkedIn and connecting with people through LinkedIn, and that's been helping me. And but I am going to widen my you know approach of looking for work and 
in two to three months, hopefully, I should be having a job opportunity there. And mm. uh, see you in Netherlands in another three months then. <laughs> then maybe if if necessary then we can do an interview like how you got the job and maybe it yeah, will help yeah, people definitely, because definitely. for these interviews i am like just scouting for people wherever i go like okay you have this experience just come and help <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah definitely okay.